Okay, now if you don't already have it open, open up Color 101 Project. Now it is in our working folder in this chapter in a folder called Color Correction, if I'm not mistaken. Once you have it open, go ahead and go into the Assets. We have four things. We're going to start in this lesson with this one right here. Drag that down onto our timeline. Now that's one major problem, I think. Let's go ahead and close Assets. We don't need that open. It gives us a little bit more room here. We do want to be in expert mode too. Make sure you're in the expert mode. Also, that's a really small area to work in. So I'm going to click this button right here, which fits to the visible timeline, gives us a little bit more room. Another thing, this video has audio. Now we don't really need the audio. I'm not suggesting you throw audio away because you might want it later, but just so we're not distracted by the audio, do this. Right click your mouse on that clip and come down to delete audio, right there. You've deleted it from the clip. It's important to understand you have not deleted it from up here. If you pull it back down, it's still going to be there for you. Now, how do we solve the problem that we see right here? As a matter of fact, let's do this too. I'm going to collapse audio and collapse video here. And then I'm going to drag this down to give us a little bit more room so we can see it. Go big or go home. That's one major problem. Video itself can be solved before you ever get here. And let me give you a recommendation when you're shooting. Never ever do video in a shoot unless you're actually white balancing the camera up front with a big white card, whatever you need. Because if you do that, you will eliminate a lot of these problems. But we do get them, don't we? So let's do this. Let me actually pull this back down so we can see what we're working on. Go into Adjust right here. Now here's the difference between using something down here and using something up here, or one of the differences. If you select it from down here, you drag it on to the clip. So the clip does not have to be selected when you do that. If you are working up here, then the clip you're working on must be selected. So make sure we have our only clip selected and come up to adjust. We have a smart fix. Now smart fix, I'll tell you up front, doesn't really work on color. But you say, well, it's got a problem, let's fix it. So you come here and click this button and open it up and click apply. And you're going to see that. Smart fix did not find problems. What? Well, it's not looking for that kind of problem. So if we're going to baseball, US baseball, that's strike one. You get three strikes and you're out. We have two other options. We have RGB color and we have color. Now, if we go into RGB color, you have red, green, and blue. These are presets, incidentally. If you click on them, it will change based on that preset in blue, in red, or green. You do have a reset here. Well, unfortunately, that's not really going to work for us either. So, again, going back to baseball, that is strike. Two, gamma lighting and temperature are not going to help us. That leaves our third strike right here, and that's color. And that's where we're going to work. Click the triangle, and it expands out. We've got U, lightness, saturation, and vibrance. And we do have an auto button. We're working our way toward that button. And you have presets here. Let's start with U. What is U? Think of U like a big color wheel. Think of all the spectrum colors, like breaking them down with a prism and they're bent around on a circle, a wheel. There's a TV show in the United States, I think it's actually everywhere, it's called the Wheel of Fortune. And they got a big wheel and they spin the wheel and there's different colors on the wheel in different prizes. In our case, the prize is getting the wheel back to its original position on the spectrum to match the colors in the image. Now that can be done by using the presets if you play around with it enough. For example, if I come over here and click this one, you can see it changed the U. The whole wheel begins spinning just a little bit. Let me press undo. Now it is possible that you might click one of these presets right here and find something that you can live with. I'm not saying that's likely, but it's possible. But U is probably the main area we need to consult in because that's the area that's shifting the colors and that's what we have to fix. The next one is lightness. Now it does exactly what you probably think it does. It either makes the image lighter or darker. It's not exposure. Exposure is more nonlinear. But if I click here, it, well, it gets lighter. If I click here, it gets darker. But it's a very linear thing. 
It doesn't impact color, so we don't really need that now. Saturation is the purity of the color. The more saturated a color, the more pure it is, like a very pure red. Typically, like in television, if the colors are oversaturated, they seem to strobe and almost like become neon on the screen. Now here's max and min in terms of our presets. If I click here, you can see that's a little bit too intense. And if I undo that and come down here, it almost goes into shades of gray. So I suppose if you couldn't solve the problem of the color cast, you could take all the color out and claim it was done as grayscale. Let me press undo. The third one is vibrance. Now vibrance is not saturation. Vibrance is intensity. Whereas in saturation, you're increasing the purity of the color. With vibrance, you're increasing the intensity of the color. So if I come over here and do the max, you can see it didn't really change that much, but the colors got more intense. And if I come down here to min, or minimum, you can see there's still color there, but I've reduced it. I like that better than the original, but still we got a problem. Let me press undo. Four options up here. Presets for each one down below it. And a wonderful little auto button right here. Now what does that do when I click it? It will look at the image. It will look for the darkest and lightest and mid-tone areas and try to remove any color information from those areas. And in doing so, can actually color balance an image. So if we click this button, okay, that's not too bad, but it isn't right. The colors have too much vibrance in them, in my opinion. But this lesson was about auto in the presets, and we've gotten to that point. If you don't like it, we're going to have to go into this button right here called More and do some manual adjustment. And that's what we're going to talk about in the next lesson. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and save what we have. And let's go on to the next lesson.